Hi, I'm Chris Richling with Olympus Controls, and today I'm going to demonstrate how to connect an Interact Express panel with Compax 3. A couple prerequisites for this. One, you need to have some experience with Interact Express, some experience with the Compax 3 and Compax 3 Manager, and you need a basic working Compax 3 program. I'm going to show you what I have physically set up. I have a motor connected to a Compax 3 T30 and in an Interact Express headless unit. Connected to the Compax 3, I also have some I.O., just four uh, outputs, four inputs, and an analog input. But um, uh, we're only really going to use that for just to show the basic program that I currently have set up. So this is C3 Manager. This is where you program and set up the Compax 3, but if you're looking at this video, you should probably already know that. Within this, you can go to the code assist and see the program that I currently have downloaded to the Compax 3. This is the program, it's very basic. Right here are my inputs. I just tied the very basic inputs I0 through I3. I then tied those directly to my four outputs that I have so that I can internally test and see what's going on. For nomenclature, I took the I0 input and put it to jog clockwise, and the I1 input to jog counterclockwise. The resetter and the enabler, these are just required in order to get it to run. Within this program, I created a jogger function block. I used the velocity of 3600 degrees per second, and then an acceleration of 36,000 and deceleration of 36,000 degrees per second. In order to get it to work, this is the local axis reference. You'll also need to use in the resetter and enabler. Just to show you this working program, I'm going to show you over on the Compax 3 how this is running before we start programming with the Interact Express. So this is the basic functionality of the motor being controlled by the Compax 3 through the I.O. that I showed you on the program. That's jog clockwise. Here's jog counterclockwise. Next, we'll make that happen using Interact Express. What we have here is Interact Express opened from the beginning and we're going to start from a new project. So we click New Project. We'll call this Demonstration. From here, we want to go to the Comm panel up here in the top left. We go to Add New Channel. Channel name, we'll call C3. And we're going to make it a Compax 3 serial. And we'll go to next. Com1, we'll use all the defaults here. We're going to hook it up to Com1. And all the defaults all the way through. From there, we have to actually add a device. We'll just call it C. The reason we have to select a single device because if we were using RS-422, we could hook up multiple devices, as you can see. Instead, we're going to use RS-232 and just hook up a single device. Again, all the defaults all the way through. So now we have C3C. Next, we can go to Design. Inside the design, I'm going to show you the tags that have been set up for us. These are all the default tags that can be used with the Compax 3 for various things. There's some interesting things you can do with some of these to make your project better. For us, we're just going to create a single panel from template. We're going to make the motor control panel. Double click on it. This is what we're going to make work. So we're going to make these two buttons, the jog functionality, work for this motor. Next, we're going to go back to C3 Manager. Within C3 Manager, under the configuration, you can see the user variable list. This user variable list is what we're going to use to send information back and forth between the Compax 3 and Interact Express. For this demonstration, we'll use column 4, these integers. For a lot of this, I'm just going to use simple integers as booleans. 
if you had a more complicated program and you started to run out of space within this array, you might need to get more creative and instead of using them as booleans, use them as integers, however you see fit. Next, I'm going to show you a PDF, the Compax3 T30 user guide, that shows how these array objects can be used. For example, in here, column one, row one, is associated with this object. This is what you'll use inside your Compax3 program, and this is what you will use inside of Interact Express. Again, we have Interact Express. Next, we're going to edit the tags that are associated with this default motor control that we did through the template. We go to Tags, and scroll to the bottom, we can see the tags that were added for that motor function block. We're going to use the jog clockwise and jog counterclockwise. Within this tag editor, we need to edit this tag so that it'll connect with whichever column or row we're going to use. Before, we said we were going to use column 4. The address for this is the things that we mentioned before in the com editor. So C3 dot C dot, and for this instance, since we're using column 4, row 1, 1904.1. Dot one. If you miss that, it's associated with this portion of this table, it's associated with this. Now for the data type, we're going to call it a bool. We're going to do the same thing with the counterclockwise, except that we're going to use the next row in this column. The next step is to edit your code assist program in order to be associated with that column and row configuration. So right here is where we have input 0 and input 1 tied to jog counterclockwise and jog clockwise. First thing we're going to do is connect this to column 4, row 1. We can simply copy and paste if we need. Copy, paste. I'm going to paste it again and just change it to 2. Now, as we're set up right now, this integer is becoming a bool. So in order to do that, we need to put in functionality to make that happen. So I'm going to add a function block. If you click on the name and hit the F2 button, this comes up. Within here, you have conversion operators. For us, we need int to bool. Hit enter, it's created. We really need two of these, so I'm going to copy it and paste the second one. If I click right here, I can delete. It doesn't like that because it's too close to this. Connected. Do the same thing. This is how our program is associated. The next thing we're going to need to do is go back to Interact Express and download the program that we made to the Interact Express panel. This is Interact Express, again, up with the tag editor that we saw before. If we click this portion right down here, the remote machines will show up. Right now we're working on demonstration, so I'll send that over the machine. Now that the project has been downloaded to the Express panel, we're going to open up the Express panel directly. From here, we can go to Run. Now we have the program set up. I'm going to go back to the Compax3, and before I physically hook up the Express panel, I'm going to download the program that we just wrote to the Compax3. One hint 
with code assist is that if in the compact 3 c3 manager you have the debugger open the debugger looks like this every time you compile you hit f11 to compile hit compile the debugger will have this little yes button from there it will automatically upload to the compact 3 Here's our Interact Express logged in to the Express panel. Hit Run. And now I have a jog. Clockwise. Jog counterclockwise. That shows the basics behind connecting the Compax 3 to the Interact Express panel or module.